Uh, we have a lot of new products. We were very busy during the last uh, few months and I just want to show you a few of the uh, major products. We have more than 10 different modules. I think uh, I will pick out a few of them and show it to you. I think one of the most important uh, modules is our new trigger sequencer. It's the A157. Uh, some people call it the small shalt work because it uh, has nearly the same functions as uh, the former product shalt work. It has uh, eight trigger outputs and you can program each trigger output simply by pressing uh, the corresponding button. For example, uh, like that. And I will turn up the volume so you can hear a little bit. This is the first row which you hear now. It is connected uh, to a percussion module from Yomox, that's the bass drum you hear now. And for the second row you can uh, program also some, some steps like that. And so on. You have eight rows, of, eight rows available fully independent from each other. Uh, it has a lot of very special features, I will tell you now. I will stop it for that. For example, you can select one of the rows with the select button like this. Now I select the row number one. And now you have several functions. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. And you have several functions available which uh, can be used for the selected row. For example, you can shift this row to the left like that. Or you can shift it to the right. Or you can invert it. Or you can swap it. And this is totally independent for each of the rows. You can also adjust for each row the first and the last step, the, uh, the running direction, forward, backward, pendulum, random, and so on. And you have, of course, a lot of presets available with uh, recall and store buttons. And you can uh, generate sequences with 16 steps or with 32 steps or with 64 steps. Well, that is just a short overview of this module. And I think another important module we have over there, it's a, what we call a ratcheting controller or clock multiplier. Uh, this module has uh, a clock input and a clock output and a CV input, and the CV input defines the multiplying factor of the incoming clock. Uh, you can use this module for any kind of uh, clock multiplication. Uh, a very special feature is uh, the generation of so-called ratcheting sequences. Normally in a sequence you have for each step you have one clock or, or one trigger. With this uh, you can generate for each step multiple triggers, that's uh, called uh, the ratcheting sequences, which were used, for example, by Tension in Dream. If I uh, start now this sequence, just a moment. What we now hear is a normal sequence with, with one trigger for each step. And if I now use one of the control voltages to control the, the triggers, I can generate multiple triggers. If, for example, increase this one, you get more. Or oh, this one. So you can uh, obtain very uh, living sequences. If you turn one of the knobs to, the, to zero, there is no trigger like that. how this module works. We also have uh, another module which is similar is this one. It's a clock divider uh, which has three sets uh, of clock dividers available. In one position of the uh, toggle switch you have uh, the integer dividing factors that means one, two, three, four, five and so on. 
In the middle position, you have the power of two uh, dividing factors, two, four, eight, sixteen, and so on. And in the third position, you have the uh, prime numbers as dividing factor. That's three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. What you see here is also a new module. It's a voltage-controlled LFO with a lot of additional features. It has uh, four waveforms available, uh, triangle, sine, uh, rectangle, and sawtooth. And it has an additional VCA for the level of, of the signal and what we call a delay voltage, uh, where you can uh, generate uh, LFO modulations with, with, which start with zero and slowly increase. And everything is voltage controlled, that means uh, you can uh, adjust uh, the, the, the time that is required until the LFO uh, reaches the full volume, is uh, manually controlled and controlled um, with an external voltage. And over there we have also some new modules So this one, we have uh, a new VCO, it's a quadrature VCO, that means it has the outputs sine and cosine, and it has flow zero feature, that means uh, you can generate so-called negative frequencies. Of course, there are no negative frequencies, but that's uh, a term which is uh, common nowadays. You have uh, a linear control, a manual control where in the center position uh, the waveform stops and if you go over there it starts again and with with using the, the external control input the linear FM control you obtain so-called through zero modulations this is one of the through zero VCOs we also have another through zero VCO it's uh, uh, this one this, it is triangle based, that means the, the core of the VCO is a triangle in opposite to this, modu uh, uh, this module where the core is a sine cosine circuit. And we also have a new basic VCO, it's uh, a bread and butter VCO uh, with only uh, uh, eight horizontal pitch. It's all what you need uh, if you start with a modular. You need a a simple VCO that has all the features which are required, like uh, sawtooth, uh, rectangle, with pulse width modulation, triangle. You have linear F input, exponential F input, uh, soft sync, and hard sync. And uh, I would rec recommend this VCO uh, to everyone who wants to start with a modular system. And finally, we have over there uh, a new filter. It's a so-called Optofade filter. Uh, an optofade is a little bit similar to backstrokes. Um, optofade is uh, an electronic part which has a so-called field effect transistor in there with an LED. So it's nearly the same uh, as a backstroke, but the FET is much faster than a backstroke. So we have the advantage. Uh, that you can go with modulations even into audio frequency modulation. Well, and finally we have a very simple module. It's nothing but uh, a headphone amplifier. There's nothing much to say. You have uh, two inputs for left and right, uh, an output for the headphone. We have uh, level controls for the two inputs and a master control. Yeah, I think these are the most important things we can show. For more information, please uh, please look at our website. Thank you.